हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो ऑन इंट्रोडक्शन टू टिग्नोमेट्री पार्ट एट इज ब्रॉट यू बाय एग्जाम फियर डॉट कॉम नो मोर फियर फ्रॉम एग्जाम बिफोर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट यू हैव वॉच पार्ट वन टू पार्ट सेवन लेट्स ड्राइव फॉर जीरो एंड नाइनटी सी टू गेट द जीरो डिग्री वॉट विल डू विल टेक दिस ट्राइंगल विल कीप रिड्यूसिंग द एंगल फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू सी एंगल ए वी आर रिड्यूसिंग इट वी आर मेकिंग इट टू जीरो जस्ट टू शो यू हाउ इट गोज So if you see, we have the formula Pandit Badri Prashar Hari Hari Bol. This for sine, the cos, and this is for tan. So sine theta is equal to p by h. So in this case, if angle A is theta, this is h, this is p, and this is b. Now if I'm reducing the theta to zero, right? I'm reducing theta. Now it is almost zero. So here, if you see, the value of p is reducing. P is less. P is less. Lesser. Lesser. And p is almost zero. So in case of sine zero, p will be zero. Almost zero. See, there is almost dot. And h will be h. So zero by h will be zero. So sine zero will be zero. Similarly. Cos theta is equal to b by h, b by h. So cos zero will be equal to. If you see this base, this is base, this is hypotenuse. If you are reducing the angle, we see that base and hypotenuse are same actually. They are same. So this will be base will also be equal to ab. Hypotenuse will also be equal to ab, and this is equal to one. Tan theta. Is equal to p by b, p by b. Therefore, tan zero is equal to p will be zero because if you see p is bc here and bc is almost zero here. Zero by b, b is ab. That is zero. So I have got the value sine zero, cos zero, and tan zero. Cosine. Zero is nothing but one by sine zero, and there is nothing but one by zero that is in undefined. Similarly, sec zero is nothing but one by cos zero. Cos zero is one. So this is one by one. That is one. Similarly, cot zero is nothing but one by tan zero. And this is nothing but one by zero, so it is undefined. So what we have done, we have got sine. I mean, all the trigonometric ratio for zero degree. So similar to this, instead of decreasing the theta to zero, if we keep if we keep on increase, uh, if we increase this value of theta to ninety degree, we'll get something like this. This is a. So C will become like this, exactly ninety degree. It is C, and B will be here only. All right, B and C will coincide. This is the figure we'll get. So if you take this back point here, C here, A and B will coll collide, and C will be like this. So what we see, this AC will be equal to H also, and P also. Both will be AC, and B will be equal to zero. So Here I'll say h will be equal to p and b will be equal to zero. Correct? Hypotenuse and perpendicular will be same because both are same now and b will be equal to zero. So in this case, sine ninety degree will be equal to p by h and p and h are equal, so this become one. Correct? Similarly, cos ninety degree will be equal to b by h. That is zero by h. That is zero. Similarly, tan ninety degree will be equal to p by b. You see here, p by b. P is p and b is zero. Any number by zero is undefined. So we have got sine ninety, cos ninety, and tan ninety. We want Cosec 90 degree. There is nothing but 
1 by sin 90 degree. So this comes out to be 1 by 1 that is 1. Similarly, sec 90 degree is nothing but 1 by cos 90 degree. This is nothing but 1 by 0 that is undefined. And cot 90 degree is equal to 1 by tan 90 degree. This is nothing but 1 by undefined that is 0. So we have got the values of all the trigonometric ratio of 0 and 90 also. So till now what we have done, we have got the trigonometric ratio of uh, 30 degree, 60 degree, 45 degree, 0 degree and 90 degree. For these all values we have got trigonometric ratio. Thus we form a table like this. The table we can form. You see here, we have uh, 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90. Sin 0 is 0. Sin 30 degree is 1 by 2. Sin 45 is 1 by root 2. Sin 60 is root 3 by 2. Sin 90 is 1. Similarly for cos, cos 0 degree is 1. Cos 30 root 3 by 2. Cos 45 1 by root 2. Cos 60 1 by 2. Cos 90 is 0. Tan, tan 0 is 0. Tan 30 1 by root 3. Tan 45 1. Tan 60 root 3. And tan 90 is undefined. Similarly, we have cos x, sec and cot. Please remember this table. This is very, very, very important. Very, very, very important table. You should remember the values of 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90 degree for all trigonometric ratio. At least sin, cos and tan is mandatory. Even if you do for sin and cos, tan you can do by dividing this. Or a way to learn this, I'll explain you. So if you can just learn this this five number in the sequence 0, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, root 3 by 2 and 1, you can learn this table because how it is done is 0, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, root 3 by 2 is in the same sequence that is sign 0, 30, 45, 60, 90, 0, 1 by 2, 1 by 2, root 2, root 3 by 2 and 1. This is in the same sequence. This is the one you have to learn. For cos, it is just the reverse sequence. 1 root 3 by 2, 1 by root 2, 1 by 2, 0. 1 root 3 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 by 2 and 0. So if you remember this, you can manage with cos also. Correct? For tan, what you do? Tan is nothing but sine by cos. So you get 0 by 1, 0. 1 by 2 by 1 by uh, root 3 by 2, 1 by root 3. 1 by root 2 by 1 by root 2, 1. Root 3 by 2 by uh, 1 by 2, root 3. 1 by 0 is undefined. So we got tan also. If you have sine, you can get cosec because 1 by sine is cosec. If you have cos, you can get sec. If you have tan, you can get cos. Very simple. The only thing if you can remember is this fact. 0, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, root 3 by 2 and 1. So if you remember these values and this is for 0 degree, 30 degree, this is for 45 degree, 60 degree and let's take some example we have to evaluate sin 60 cos 30 plus sin 30 cos very simple question just we have to put the values in the table we have seen in the last table sin 30 was root 3 by 2 cos 30 was root 3 by 2 sin 30 is 1 by 2 and cos 60 is 1 by 2. To solve this, this becomes 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4, 4 by 4, that is 1. If you don't remember the table, you can use this uh, memory table 0, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, root 3 by 2 and 1, this is for 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree. This for sine and for a cos it is other way around 0, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, root 3 by 2 and 1. Sine 60, root 3 by 2, cos 30, root 3 by 2, sine 30, 1 by 2, cos 60, 1 by 2. Correct? If you remember well and good, else you can use it memory.
have to find 2 tan square 45 minus 2 cos square 30 actually that is and this is 2 sin square 60 you have to find the value of this again we can directly use the formula 2 tan 45 is 1 2 into 1 square plus cos 30 is root 3 by 2 square minus sin 60 is again root 3 by 2 square which is cancel so again just the values we have put here also if you don't remember the formula you can use the same thing 0 1 by 2 1 by root 2 root 3 by 2 1 other way around 0 1 by 2 1 by root 2 root 3 by 2 and 1 we also have tan so we will divide 0 by 1 0 1 by 2 by 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 1 by root 2 by 1 by root 2 1 root 3 by 2 by 1 by root 2 root 3 1 by 0 is undefined correct 0 30 45 degree uh, 60 degree and 90 degree this was sine cos and tan we want tan 45 you take this tan 45 this become 1 cos 30 you take 30 you can take cos cos 30 want sine 60 sin 60 if you know the formula apply it if not you can use the memory tip also we have to find cos 45 by sec 30 plus cos sec 30 very simple just apply the formula cos 45 is nothing but 1 by root 2 divided by sec 30 is 2 by root 3 and cos sec 30 is 2 expand this you get 1 by 2 divided by root 3 common plus 2 root 3 correct or uh, this becomes root 3 by 2 into this 1 by root 2 actually root 2 into 2 plus 2 root 3 or uh, this becomes root 3 by 2 root 2 plus 2 root 6 just solve it that's it if you don't remember the formula you can do what we have I've done in the last problem you can write 0 1 by 2 1 by root 2 root 3 by 2 and 1 and then you can find all these values but it is advisable that you should learn all these values sin theta cos theta tan theta at least 0 30 45 60 and 90 degree you should know all the trigonometric ratios so thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.